So, mini story time. <laughs> the electrician just came to my house and I had to answer the door like this. <gasps> what? Why? <laughs> Why is that my life? Hey guys, my name is Jerry Burnett and welcome to my channel, Just Jerry. So in today's Halloween tutorial, I'm creating this makeup look and if you can't tell, this is Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. To be completely honest, I've never seen the movie, but I got a request to do this look so I thought I would give it a go. I used this photo as a reference picture. If you weren't like a weirdo and you didn't want to dress up this much on Halloween, you can always just like tight line and water line with like a white eyeliner and get those contacts that are like whiter on the outside and just have like a black pupil. I will also insert a photo here. So yeah, if you didn't want to go this far out with it, you can just do that and then you can do everything else the same or you can modify it however you like. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will see you all on Friday. Hi! So first I'm going in with my simple moisturizer and this step is actually pretty important for this makeup look because the face paint that I'm going to be using sticks to dry patches so just make sure you moisturize and then I'm going in with a black eyeliner and I'm just roughly drawing out where I want Sally's eyes to be and all of her scars. However, this step is basically pointless because soon I will be painting my face and all of my hard work is gonna go to waste. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> Now I'm using some face paint, so I'm using a white, a blue, and a yellow. The first thing I'm going to do is mix together the blue and yellow to create this green color. And then I'm going to wipe the excess off my brush and I'm just going to dip it in the white and then run it all over my face, hopefully to create kind of like a pale, whitish, bluish, green color. I don't know. I'm basically just trying to match her color. If I were going to do it again, I think I would make it even more pale. But yeah, just do your best you can to match the color of Sally. Okay, so now that I have painted my neck and chest and I've let it dry, I'm going to take a black eyeliner and I'm just going to redraw the lines that I had before. I realized that I forgot to do my ears, so I'm just fixing that up quickly. Since the paint was so opaque, I found it really hard to find the place that I put the stitching at last time, so I'm basically just creating new lines all together. But I'm doing my absolute best to follow the stitching that Sally has on her in the movie. It's really hard to see in the reference photo what the stitching actually looks like, so I kind of just made it up myself. I'm doing a mixture of diagonal lines going both ways and long lines, short lines, and X's. But if you know what her stitching looks like, I recommend you follow that better than I have. I kind of just made up my own thing. Here I'm using the pure white face paint and I'm just filling in the circles that I drew before. This is going to be Sally's eyeballs when my eyes are closed and I'm obviously doing the best I can to cover up my eyebrow with the same color but it's not really working that well. And then I'm going in with a darker greeny blue color and I'm just outlining my eyes. That's going to be her eyelid and her eye socket kind of. Now I'm using the same black eyeliner to outline my lips. 
and I'm just gonna overdraw my cupid's bow a lot. I'm trying to make it look really pointed because in the photo hers is pretty pointed. And then I'm going in with a dark purpley red burgundy color for my lipstick. This is a pretty weird technique that I thought of on the spot, but I'm taking a comb and I'm just cutting off the bristles of it and then I'm using some eyelash glue to stick it down to kind of create her eyelashes. As you see in the photo, she has like four chunks of two eyelashes. And then I'm taking the back of a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush and some gel eyeliner and I'm just trying to draw on the pupils and make them as even as possible, but this was honestly the hardest part of the entire tutorial. I kept blinking and messing it up, so I had to erase it like 20 times and start over, but I edited that all out. I have to answer the door like this. Hi, <laughs> sorry. I'm in the middle of like a makeup trial right now. <laughs> what is that? Are you an electrician? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Can I say that every time? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was honestly so embarrassing. Now I'm doing my hair, so I'm just taking it out of the bun and I'm brushing it out. I'm creating this like weird little zigzaggy part, but that's totally optional. I'm pretty sure Sally in the movie just has a middle part, so that'd probably be easier if you wanna just do that. And then I'm gonna wet my hair so that it's kind of straight because I could not be bothered straightening it. And this is pretty weird, but I'm gonna run some of that body paint in red and I'm just running it on the top so it it kind of looks like I have red hair, but it didn't really work. So you can always go to the store and just get like red hairspray if you want to, or a red wig, whatever you like. So guys, that is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you guys on Friday, and until then, enjoy the adventure. Bye!